Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about stack Weber syndrome imaging. Terminology, syndrome of abnormal cortical venous development. Imaging feature result from progressive venous occlusion, recruitment of alternate drainage, pathway, and chronic venous ischemia. Most common sign and symptoms, see here, 75 to 90%. Amy paralysis, 30 to 66%. Stroke-like episode, neurological deficit, headaches, and intellectual disability, facial, facial capillary malformation, or vein stand in 95%. V1 distribution, Choroidal angioma, 70%, especially with eyelid stand. Increased intraocular pressure, congenital glaucoma, leading to bottomosis in jang. Retinal telangi ectastic, ectastic vessel scleral angioma, iris, heterochromia, pinnacle profile, triad of Port Winston, seizure, hemi, paresis. 50% have extracranial Port Winston, torso or extremity. Demographic, it's rare. Special reason is visible at birth. Blood dominant here, angiomatosis may be or cool if no facial lesion and no seizure to prompt imaging. Seizure typically developed in first year of life. CT, Kira subcortical classification, tram track appearance, plus minus calvaria sickening or and sinus hyper session. Amma, a region of atrophy plus minus anomaly melanization. G2, flow in in enlarged lip transcerebral vein. Clear, atrophy low plus minus bright sac sac signal of leptomeningeal angiomatosis. SWI, G2, strict. G Oi, decreased cortical subcortical signal from classification. T1 C plus enhancing leptomeningeal angiomatosis. Abaddon medullary and deep draining vein. Choroidal glow enhancement of angioma. MRV, absent normal cortical vein in affected region. PWI, increased perfusion early. Decrease perfusion rate. FDG fat. Progressive decrease metabolism in affected brain. This is a non enhanced CT in an 11 years old girl with intractable epilepsy, so bilateral subcortical classification characteristic of stuck verbal syndrome. C1, C plus, FS, um, or in the same patient, so bilateral leptomeningeal enhancement, and enlarge of the right choroid plexus. Note the glow signal within the subcortical wire mirror at the dip of sarcai, consistent with classification. There is mali in Increased right cow warrior sickness, secondary to underlying brain parenchyma volume loss. T2 of her in a 10% a 10 years old boy with a right sided hemiplegia and seizures so mark parenchyma volume loss and low signal corresponding to an area of 40. 
for the cost of protocol classification seen on CT. Also note the epsilateral and light deep drainage vein. Non-contrast enhanced CT in a 10 years old boy with a right side hemiplegia and seizure so continue subcortical classification in the left frontal lobe. SWI MR in the same patient, so contiguous loss of signal within the subcortical Y mirror of the left frontal lobe, suggesting calcification. Also, note the enlarged subepinemal vein in the left frontal horn. Treatment pre symptomatic, some recommend, recommend low dose aspirin plus minus anti-conversion, symptomatic aggressive medical management of seizure, symptomatic and medical refractory, consider surgery resection hemispheric tonic. Thank you.